The stars have to be stars to win this series. And I think that, J that Jason Tatum is a star. This brother is one of the top ten players in the NBA right now, I believe. He's big time. There's no question like about it. He's got to play big time. But I'm going to tell you a name neither of y'all brought up. But y'all ain't going to disagree with this. Oh, Jalen Brown got to show up too. Mm -hmm. Jalen Brown got mm -hmm. to show up. Because this is another star. Now, he ain't Jason Tatum, but he ain't far off. We know the ability that Jalen Brown brings to the table. This brother's a star. What's the problem with him? Turns the ball over sometimes. At key pivotal moments, I might add. Too much dribbling, trying to, you know, relying on his athleticism and his creativity. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And it sort of negates what Jason Tatum or Marcus Smart may have done at a particular moment in time during the game. So I would tell you that both of y'all are right. You ain't wrong about the Tatum and Marcus Smart components, even though I side more with J.J. in that regard, because I think when you're going against the likes of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, the Splash Brothers, along with the emergence of Jordan Poole, the experience of a Draymond Green with Tatum being 6'9", and in the position to use his abilities to take advantage of various mismatches that he might be presented with, I also think that the second offensive option on the Boston Celtics is Jalen Brown, and he's got to be effective at all. It's going to take both of them in order to win the series. Just like Steph can't beat Boston by himself, he's going to have to have help. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.